Johnson with Miller & Company Property Management. And I'm Dean with Miller & Company Property Management. Uh, today we're just going to do a quick video to explain how to troubleshoot uh, any problems that might arise with your uh, disposal. Dee is one of our uh, in-house maintenance professionals. So Dee, uh, if somebody calls and they're having a problem with their disposal, uh, what, what is the first thing you'd quest, uh, ask to diagnose the problem? Well, first of all, I'd ask um, if they can hear any sound to it at all. Um, sometimes the, uh, it will get jammed for whatever reason, and uh, we usually make a humming sound if it's jammed. So humming but not, not spinning? Right. Okay. And also, um, usually if it's not making a sound at all, there, there's usually a reset button underneath okay. the disposal. And if you want to try that first, and you, it's a real small uh, little square button, it used to be red, that you can depress in, kind of like on a GFI or, or a breaker switch. S on the very bottom of, yeah, the, of this right main unit? Yep. And uh, usually when you, when you push that in, it'll reset it. Now, if it resets it and you can hear a sound the next time you turn it on, and then it's making more of a humming sound, it's not turning like normal, it will, uh, you know, that means it's probably jammed. Okay, so uh, what would you do in the case of it humming um, but not spinning? Well, you would probably want to first reach in and unplug the disposal if it does have a plug outlet. Sometimes they're hardwired, so you, if, if it's in that situation, you might want to let a professional take care of it. Okay, um, or alternatively, you could probably turn off the... You, you could maybe, if you knew what you were doing as far as... Um, uh, turning off the breakers and testing the power to make sure that there's no power if you notice they don't want to get shocked by undoing the, uh, the connections uh, if it's hardwired. Absolutely. So this is uh, turning off the breaker or unplugging it is a uh, safety precaution? Yeah. Okay. That would be a safety precaution just so that, you know, if you did decide to look down in there or reach in there, if there was something that you could see that you want to remove, then, you know, you'd be, you wouldn't have any power to it that would harm your hand. Um, okay. So uh, the next step um, you would probably, after that, is to get it unjammed. Um, you can sometimes we'll leave in our uh, residence area and underneath the sink a uh, tool like this, and it's pretty much like an Allen key. Um, okay. And if you don't have one of these, you can get a quarter-inch Allen uh, key, and if you reach underneath in the very center of the disposal and you fill with your finger there, there's a hole a depression in there that's a hole where you can insert this key and make sure it's in there make sure all the power's off and then gently rotate it back and forth slowly de depending on how much it's jammed sometimes you'll get a little movement and sometimes you won't get any movement um, but if you rotate that back and forth to see how much uh, you can get it to move and if it will turn all the way around or at least the most of the way around um, sometimes you can get that to loosen up and then run water down through it um, uh, and see if it'll flush it through if it uh, if if that is successful then you can you can actually plug it back in turn the water on and try the switch again to see if it'll uh, um, it'll rotate completely around. Okay, so sometimes you can just un, uh, uh, get rid of the clog or the jam with a quarter inch Allen wrench, uh, twisting that. Uh, and then if that doesn't work, um, maybe while, while it's unplugged, try clearing it out manually or... Uh, yeah, you, you, could try, um, you could try that several times, what I, what I just mentioned before. But also, you could you could try and make sure and unplug it first. But um, with it off, um, get a flashlight. And if if you look down in there, sometimes you'll be able to see something in there. Um, if you can't figure out what's jamming it, then you might have to call someone to to uh, to either clear it for you, or it could be that it's rusted out, and it could be at the end of its life um, right. to where it, um, uh, it'll have to be replaced. Okay. And especially if it if it's leaking at all. And I imagine if you if you go uh, exploring with your hands, obviously make sure the power is off. 
Right. But also, is it a good idea to wear some protective uh, gloves in case there's any glass or anything in there? Yeah, that might be an option too. Um, it, it's probably a good idea, let's put it that way. Um, and always, you know, look in there with your flashlight to make sure and find out if anyone had broken a glass, maybe, maybe a, a child or someone or anyone could have dropped something in there that could be sharp. So. Absolutely. Okay, so main thing I'm gathering is safety first. Uh, if you are unsure, make sure to call a professional. Uh, but if, it, if you do hear that humming, there's some steps that will probably solve it before you have to call in a maintenance request. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something and have a great day.